the very first region that I visited as the director of the Federal Protective Service uh, was Region 3. Now at that time, uh, Ms. Long was not the, uh, was, was not the, the, the director or, or the regional director, but she was the deputy at that time. Long story short, uh, we developed something called the uh, Modified Infrastructure Survey Tool called MIST, and is one of the premier programs in the field today for assessing the vulnerabilities within federal programs. So um, I, credit, I credit so much of that to the hard work and commitment of Kathy Long. And so, Kathy, I want to thank you for that in the agency and the department and the federal government. I particularly appreciate your dedication and counsel while serving and leading the Regional Directors Council, as well as the development of MIST, ensuring I had a full appreciation, appreciation of all the issues impacting our frontline employees. Throughout your federal career, your exemplary efforts and unwavering professionalism contributed greatly to the safety and security of citizens and visitors to federal facilities. I saw something on Facebook that said, if you could be whatever you wanted to be when you were growing up, what would it be? And I said, I did. I was a cop. And I'll always be a cop. Michelle Bryan is one of the best people in the world. And she mentored me. And we got to be the girls in, in boys' world. And I want to thank you for that. Um, I like to say I knew everybody because I kind of grew up in FPS. I knew Patrick Moses when he started out in EEOC. I knew Dave Olson when he had hair. Um, Director Patterson has been an inspiration. Um, not only can he get you to Washington, but he can keep you there. He, he's got power. One of the things I learned about FPS and about being a cop is you always need to be humble. Great career, good people, best in the world. Thanks. On to Mr. Moses, Mr. Patrick Moses. So one of my first and second days there, um, I'm leaving for the day, okay? So I go downstairs to the parking garage and there are three, three black Suburbans and Tahoes lined up like there was a presidential escort. I said, Holy moly, who are they waiting on? Oh, we're waiting for Mr. Mr. Moses. We're taking him back to the region. All of you guys? Oh yes, that's the way we roll. I said, okay. Dear Patrick, on the occasion of your retirement after nearly 32 years of exemplary federal service, I want to personally express my gratitude and appreciation for your many significant contributions to our nation, the federal government and the Federal Protective Service. Mr. Moses has taken every opportunity to introduce and engage national DHS FPS leadership with federal executive boards and suggested FPS and FEB team approaches to sharing critically, critical security information addressing government facility security. I am remarkably blessed who have served nearly 32 years with the best women and men who have ever committed their lives to that picture of that individual, some call a bureaucrat, in that civics book. And that's what I want to do. I wanted to become a federal employee because I thought that that is a noble calling. To all of you, as I bid you farewell, to all of you, great things are expected of you. One of the most difficult responsibilities we have as leadership is ensuring that we're getting our folks what they need to get the job done, all right? And some folks are really good at that, and some folks aren't quite as good at that, but Mr. Olson was really good at that. Probably the most recent uh, event that you all might be aware of is Portland, Oregon. Uh, for six months, we defended the, the courthouse in Portland, Oregon, and the ICE facility in Portland, Oregon, from people who wanted to burn it down every day, from people who were just, just who were committed to destroying those facilities. And every day, Mr. Olson was putting people on the front lines 
to, to ensure that we were protecting that facility, both of those facilities. And that has been ongoing. And as the, as the, as the director for the RPF, he did an incredible job. And then so when it was time to replace Mr. Moses and, and, and step in as, a, as the new um, the assistant director for field operations, uh, I just I couldn't have found a better person to do that. I couldn't be any prouder to uh, have the opportunity to uh, follow in Mr. Moses' footsteps and, and uh, continuing this uh, uh, excellence that already exists within the zone. And plus they get to keep the rapid protection force until we, uh, until we find somebody else to lead that. But uh, I'm really excited for the opportunity and thank you everybody for coming out today. And I appreciate it, sir, the kind words. It was just really great to see Ms. Long, Mr. Moses, the appointment of Mr. Olson, director, glad you were able to come out with your busy schedule. Ms. Michelle Bryan and, and all of you, all your fam all the family and stuff. It's great seeing your faces. 